Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Standard Education Talks. Um, as STEM education continues to gain momentum on the global stage, we'll be looking at how Christian Alliance PC Lao Memorial International School blazes new trails in 21st century learning with the launch of a new screen room. So we are very happy and delighted to have invited Dr. Koa Hui, head of school at CAPCL, and Ms. Vicky Wong, the stream coordinator at CAPCL, mm -hmm. to talk to us today on this topic. And I think, you know, welcome both, and thank you so much for being here today. Um, and I think to kick off our discussion today, why don't we have a very brief overview of how STEM education has developed globally? So what are the trends that you're seeing and how does it inspire your school to launch this new stream room where we are having this conversation right now? Mm, that's good. Um, I think, you know, STEM to stream has been a great way to help children learn because it is a way to look into multidisciplinary learning in school setting. Uh, for CAPCL, Christian Alliance, PC Lao Memorial International School, we are looking at science, technology, reading and research, engineering, art and mathematics as the way for us to engage children to learn in a relevant way. Uh, for us, multidisciplinary learning makes children find learning to be engaging. It also helps them to see that they can apply their knowledge in a flexible way. So we think this is the way forward for us to prepare children to be ready for their future. Right, right. So as you know, STEM subjects continues mm. to gain traction you know, on the global stage, schools are increasingly recognizing the need to cultivate a diverse set of skills and yes. competencies say, for example, problem solving, creative out of the box thinking. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, and there's also a saying in the education field where we're actually preparing students for jobs that do not yet exist. And so these skills are going to go a long way in making sure that, you know, to put them on the spring for success. Mm -hmm. And I think this new spring room is a testament to this philosophy. Yes, it is. And uh, I think as many people would know, the Canadian Alberta curriculum is actually a staple of the CAPCL education. So with this new facility, how do you aim to integrate stream subjects into uh, this curriculum that is being taught at the school? Thank you, Gigi. Um, in our school, we use the co-homeroom system, meaning that two homeroom teachers, the English homeroom teacher and the Chinese homeroom teachers are looking after one class of 20 plus students, uh, teaching them all the subjects. So what we see, uh, we want to have at our school is concluded in the three R's and the four C's. We like to see our teachers develop close relationship with our children and as they're looking at the different subjects, they put them together in a relevant way. Stream education for us is how our teachers can make learning engaging and meaningful. So it is the third R, how make it rigorous. So in our Canadian system, we want to see the homeroom to be a place where children develop the relationship and teachers will make the learning to be relevant and rigorous. And that really touch on Gigi, the four C's of future learning. STREAM is a way for us to launch project-based learning so children learn to work together in a collaborative way. They will learn to communicate with each other of the ideas that they have when they come to reading and research. They have to dialogue to make sure that the information fit together. It will really tailor for the project they have to do. So, as a result, they practice critical thinking and creativity. And I think these four C's really will help children to become ready for their future. Mm. So based on what you just said, uh, the key is in blending stream subjects into uh, the, the core subjects across and based on the Alberta curriculum. Mm -hmm. Um, through a very meaningful and interdisciplinary manner. Yes. Um, and you know, and you, you just said that you know, students have so much access to information these days, both online and offline. So it's important to help them make sense of what they have learned within the classroom and how they can apply it. Mm. Um, and you know, STEM education has evolved and changed a lot over the years. And this time CAPCL is taking the initiative to add the R letter, mm -hmm. the research element to STEAM, all the while emphasizing the art and the aesthetic component. 
So tell us what, what is the idea behind this and how does it maximize students' learning? Yes, we see the four C's of future learning to be critical. And I think you made a good point that now information is always available for everyone online and offline. And what we want our children to do is to cultivate the habit and the love for reading and finding out the information, the important information for themselves. And I think really touch on the critical thinking elements of the four C's of future learning. And when it comes to creating any product for presentation, I think the creative element comes with the artwork, how they present their thinking, their feeling in a very artistic way, really how to extend the dimension of learning for our children. So it's not just about learning knowledge, but to apply and express the learning in a meaningful way. So we find from STEM, to stream, adding the reading and research, as well as the art and aesthetic element, have expanded their learning in a meaningful way. Mm. So the inclusion of the research and the art elements creates a much more well-rounded learning experience for students. Yes, uh, as you said, the research skills is first of all, very important in secondary school and universities mm -hmm. and also in future workplace because students need to be able to develop questions and to solve problems very systematically. Um, and integrating arts would also encourage students to consider aesthetics and presentation elements. So it's really taking STEAM or STREAM education a significant step ahead. Um, and so while this is the idea behind the new STREAM room, why don't we take a look at what is actually inside this facility? So are there any new features of the new screen room that you would like to highlight to us? And what do they do? Yes, so for our uh, WOW room, also referred as our Work of Wonder room, it offers a flexible space for brainstorming and collaboration. We have our interactive TV and whiteboard where students will be able to express their creativities by generating ideas while interacting with them. We also have our special shaping table where teachers and students will be able to flexibly rearrange arrange them depending on the activities that they're doing at the time. And our room is also equipped with a 3D printer, which allows students to bring their design to life. And if you take a look at our room, you may probably notice that our room uses different shades of green color. And this green color actually symbolizes a green future. We want to help develop, um, we want to help students to develop a sense of responsibility to care for our environment and also a sense of responsibility to help remain and maintain a sustainable future. Now speaking of future, we are also planning to um, equip our room with additional resources in the future as well and that will be including green screen and more robotic encoding kit for future activities. Mm. So there are flexible furnishings like stools and the tables to encourage uh, collaboration and group mm -hmm. projects. Um, mm -hmm. And I think one of the more exciting additions would be the tablets and the electronic software and also the 3D printer, mm -hmm. giving students hands-on experience with emerging technologies. Mm -hmm. Now, I understand that the multidisciplinary and the play-based approach is really, really big in the stream room here. So what kind of research projects are students able to conduct in this new facility. Mm -hmm. So students will be able to conduct research and investigation using our new room. Mm -hmm. One example of a research project that conduct by our upper primary students involved studying indigenous shelter. Mm -hmm. So for the first half of the activities, they spend most of their time in this room researching and analyzing useful resources and information that they would like to include in their project. And at the same time, they will have to sit with their groups and discuss with come up with ideas about how they would like to construct and build their shelter and write out a list of materials that they would like to include and collect in order to build their shelter. Mm -hmm. Then after that, they will move into an, another stream room of our school, Makerspace, and they will go in there and they will start building process. They will start to craft out their shelter. So by integrating both of our stream room, the WOW room and also our Makerspace, not only it will benefit students' learning, but at the same time, it will provide educators with more resources and more flexibility to create um, purposeful stream projects for students to enjoy. 
Mm -hmm. So the space, the fact that the space is open-ended and this continuity between these two stream rooms would give students the autonomy to explore subjects that fascinate them the most. Um, and this experience also has a lot to do with uh, fostering natural curiosity and a lifelong learning attitudes in students. Um, and I want to zero in on the tablets and the interactive software. How do you think these tools will allow students to do this, to create and to explore different subject domains. So tablet and interactive software will be able to provide students with options to freely explore and experiment on ways that they would like to express and present themselves. Through interacting with tablet and interactive software, they will also help students to discover their preference as well. So for example, if we take a look at the poster right here. So students were asked to use the multimedia software to conduct and generate a poster to talk about what they did over their summer. Although they're doing the same project, but we can already, already see that the way they express themselves are very different and unique in their own way. And I believe this is like a really good example to indicate how tablet, how um, interactive software, mm -hmm. multimedia software will be able to help students to express themselves in a creative way. Mm -hmm. Uh, so students are going to get a uh, tremendous kick out of these digital tools that are so readily available in the new stream room. And uh, they will open doors to many possibilities for visualizations, for presentation, and also for collaboration in real time. Uh, now, because we're talking about aesthetic and design, um, and I want to talk a bit about the art components, because in some schools, it may be the cases where art is sidelined in favor of science or mathematics or mm -hmm. um, technologies. So how does your STREAM program help cultivate students' appreciation for aesthetic and design? Mm -hmm. So through STREAM education approach, um, students will not be only learning art in art lesson only. Um, through STREAM, we can actually implement art in different projects mm -hmm. and different subjects. And by doing this, we're actually enhancing their exposure to different kinds and different form of art expressions, which eventually will help them to develop their interest and preference in art. Um, one example would be last year, we have our stream fair, where a student had the opportunity to showcase their work and their stream project to the public. But not only that, they also have the opportunity to appreciate how other people exhibit and showcase their work to the to others as well. Mm, so from designing interfaces on tablets to uh, making consideration for official appeal is going to train them by developing a keen eye for polished and impactful designs like what you have just sold to the mm. audiences. Um, so, and while students take ownership over their own learning, they will also be doing so under the guidance of teachers mm. uh, and, and, and educators. And I think as educators yourself, how do you think students can make the most out of this new stream room? Well, I think um, we want our children to learn as they are growing up that they have a responsibility for the future that they want to create. And I think uh, Vicky has shared with us that, you know, we want to cultivate the mindset in our children that green and sustainability is the way to go. As they are learning the different skills, uh, they're collaborating, they're communicating, they're critical analyzing different issues around their life, and also being creative in finding solutions for the future. What we want our children to be is the good steward of the earth. They're the earth keeper. They are using the talent and applied it to benefit the society in the future. And I think this is what we see uh, for them as they are getting ready for the high school, as they're developing these skills and having the right mindset. Embrace that for building a better future for the next generation. I think it really ties into what we have been discussing because if we look at the uh, 21st century workplace, it really requires an interdisciplinary thinking and also innovative thinking and these skills that you know, students are able to glean from the new stream room, uh, they are going to be highly applicable when, mm -hmm. as they approach, as they move on up to secondary school and university and also in their future career.
Mm. Um, and I think if we look ahead into the future, what are your school's future plans for continuing to advance STEM education? And are there new initiatives that you would like to share with our audiences today? Mm. Well, this year we have uh, further developed our curriculum. We have our STEM coordinator, Vicky. We also have a literacy coordinator. What we want is to really uh, use the curriculum that we have and really develop that, make it more ready for our students and for Hong Kong. So we want our children to learn everything with a purposeful eyes and design. Uh, for our for our school, we started with a maker space. We want children to learn to make things with their own hands. Now we have the wow workshop that we want them to do work of wonder, and that wonder is really something to have a big question mark for our children. They will wonder what done the work that they want to do. It will be work that they will do to benefit the society when they look at. Future. What are the things that they want to see? Uh, we encourage our children to have dreams. At CAPCL, we turn the dreams into reality. We help them to see how they can use their hands, work with one another as they collaborate. They bring out new ideas. How to communicate their ideas into a project that will make impact for the future, and that's what we want to do. This year in our school, we also encourage all the stakeholders to embrace a growth mindset. Our children know it's not just about their talent, but it's about their effort. It's about getting feedback from one another and using the feedback to look for different ways to solve problems. And I think that help our children to have the right mindset. To have the right um, motivation and having the right methods, and I think these three M's are important for our children to become ready for high school, for the society that they will embrace and build together. So thank you, Gigi, for taking us into this time to share with you our stream development. Right. So very exciting things are in the pipeline, and uh, thank you, Miss Wong. Thank, thank you, you. Doctor Hui, for your insightful sharing today. We have certainly learned a lot about the new stream room and everything else that is currently on offer at CAPCL. Mm. Thank you, audiences. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We will see you next time around. Mm.